And developing tonight, another twist in one of the ongoing criminal cases against former President Donald Trump. Investigative reporter Zach Merchant with our 11 Alive political team explains these big takeaways. Today, federal prosecutors unsealed what is known as a superseding indictment in the federal case, accusing the former president of unlawfully interfering with the 2020 election proceedings. A superseding indictment is a legalistic name for a new indictment used by prosecutors when they want to make changes to an initial indictment. Prosecutors had to go before another grand jury, present their evidence, and convince them there is probable cause to indict. This new indictment replaces the old one. So why did prosecutors do this? In a memo also filed in D.C. federal district court today, prosecutors said the move here is to comply with the Supreme Court's recent ruling that presidents have some immunity from criminal prosecutions, particularly when the allegedly criminal activity was part of the president's official conduct. The new indictment has the same four charges as the original, but it has toned down references to alleged communications between Mr. Trump and Justice Department officials. Essentially, this represents a tactical move by federal prosecutors to protect their case from the impact of the Supreme Court's recent presidential immunity ruling. Whether it works or not remains to be seen. The former president's defense team has not yet filed their response. So there's so many layers here, Zach, but that's the federal case. Will it impact what happens here in Fulton County with that case? There's sort of two answers to this. The legalistic one is no. These are independent cases in different jurisdictions. One shouldn't have an impact on the other directly. But you can bet Atlanta lawyers involved in the Fulton County case are going to be watching this one very closely to see how this court sorts out the presidential immunity issue because it is very likely to become an issue in the Fulton County case down the line as well. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be making headlines for, uh, for weeks to come. All right, Zach, thanks a lot. We appreciate that.